Good news, you can 3D print using a Chromebook. It's not ideal because the best slicer software is going to be based on for you know iOS or um, um, Windows software operating system. But you can do it. I'm going to show you the whole process right now. You need a Chromebook. This is a super old one. It's using this version just for reference. It's actually no longer supported. So yours should be able to work as well because this is all browser based. You need an SD card, a micro SD card probably the one that came with your 3D printer and you need a card adapter SD card to USB adapter if you don't uh, have an SD card slot in your Chromebook this card adapter probably also came with your 3D printer really suggest using an external mouse like a Bluetooth one that I have here because it's really hard to navigate using the little touchpad open up your Chromebook in the Chromebook we're gonna go to the browser because that's basically all that this is. So the first thing is we have this website called Printables. This is just one of many websites where you can download a 3D model. This is just so that we have something to actually slice. We're gonna click this uh, uh, calibration cube. I'm gonna click download. It's gonna ask you if you wanna sign up. You don't have to, just click away. It downloaded it. We don't need to mess with that until later. Next, we're gonna go to Cloud 3D Print. There are several other types of browser-based slicers, but this is the one that I've found to be the the best, you know, the most functional and the least, you know, clunky. Go to try it for free. They offer other stuff, but we just care about the cloud slicing right now or the 3D slicing. Uh, sign up with your email. I am already signed up, so I'm going to click sign in. I'm going to put in my email address. Continue with email. It sends you a code every time. You don't actually have to have a password to remember. Log in. Alright, sweet. So this is our dashboard workspace. Go over on the left hand side, click projects. We need to create a new project. So you'll see it's empty. We can click create a project. Okay, and then here we can just give it a title. This will be you know, Chromebook 3DP test. And then we're gonna load the models. So click on that. It's gonna open your file browser thingy. Um, you can see there's two of these because I already downloaded it previously, but let's get the one from today. Okay, so that's our calibration cube that we downloaded uh, just a minute ago. Put that in there. You can add other stuff uh, if you want to, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, we're gonna scroll down and click save project at the bottom. Okay, now this is our project. We're gonna go to the right hand side and click analysis. It's kind of a goofy way that they do that, but that's what we're gonna do. Now you see it'll show us a little project, uh, the little model here, and there'll be a button that says slice on the right hand side. Click that. Okay, here we are in our slicing uh, area. So for the mouse controls, uh, you can scroll on the mouse to go in and out. Uh, you uh, left click and you can rotate around or left click and hold. Uh, right click allows you to sort of uh, uh, pan and move side to side. Okay, so you can use all those to zoom in and uh, you'll figure that out pretty quickly probably. So we do have some different tools. I'm not gonna go in depth into this, but on this left hand side right here, this is something you're probably gonna wanna pay attention to and that is the type of printer. So let's say we want to do a new 3D printer and hopefully you have one. Uh, hopefully this will have one that you have. It doesn't offer all of them, but it does uh, uh, probably the majority of the printers here. So let's just say, you know, you have a um, Creality 3D, right? Maybe you have a Ender 3, CR10, whatever the, you know, latest thing is that they have. These are all the different versions they have. Um, we can just do, I don't know, we'll just do CR10. We'll just, I'll just make a copy of what I had before. So, and then you can change, uh, if you just have a stock setup, you, this will probably be fine. Just go with that and then see if there's some kind of major issue. You can go down to the bottom, click save. Or you can also add a, a customized printer yourself if you, if you don't have your model in here. That's going to require a little bit more knowledge and uh, more in depth than we want to go into right now. So on the left hand side here you'll see where it says PLA. That's going to be your, your basic generic uh, profile for the PLA for that filament. And that's probably what you're going to be printing with to start out. Uh, but you can change those settings uh, in the more advanced section if you need to. So on the left hand side here we have this little slicing section here. You see where it says layer height and infill. 
this is the basic setting and that's all that it has layer height and infill um, so like for example you know point 0.1 that's a really low layer height so typically it's like point 0.2 and that's going to affect your detail or your resolution uh, of the print and then you have your infill you know 20% that's fine a lot of times it's too much you know, we could do 15%, sure. Um, okay, but here's the thing. The whole point of the slicer is so that we can see what that actually does to the model. So let's go down to the right-hand bottom corner and click Slice. And it slices it quite quickly. I was very impressed with this. Okay, this is cool. So, that, so you see all the different colors. That's showing us um, the different types of lines and kind of how they're categorized. Um, so the main thing about slicing is this part where you kind of want to see uh, each layer as it goes up. Now if you're just getting into this and you just want your printer to go and do magic things and print a thing, don't even worry about this. But um, later you know, you'll want to learn about overhangs and you know, you got to be able to print uh, on a surface. You can't just print like in thin air, etc, etc. Once we're happy with that, we're going to click Save G-Code down at the bottom right hand corner. And then we're going to click download. Now we'll click show in folder. Yep, so this is the one right here. Let's click rename because that is a super ugly file name. And we'll just call it like cube chromebook test. I don't know, just whatever name you want to name it. Now we want to get our SD card adapter and stick it in our USB port. We want to get our SD card from our printer, this is a micro SD card actually, and stick it in the adapter. And now you'll see where it pops up and it says removable device detected. All right, so this is our removable device. We'll go to our downloads folder where we have our new G code and we'll just drag and drop that onto our SD card. Okay, we'll go to our SD card, make sure it made it there and it did. We can just click on the eject button Fantastic. All right, we're done on the computer. Now we can just take this out, take out our SD card, and take it over to our printer. Let's go. Ha ha. Here we are. Now we're going to shove it in the slot. Carefully, of course. Oh, make sure you do it the right way around. In my printer, because I modified it, that's as far in as it will go. All right, let's turn on our printer. Now again, this printer, I've modified the firmware and so it's it's actually not correct. So don't worry about what this looks like. It's gonna look different from your CR10 if you're using a CR10. Um, so we're gonna go into, uh, where is it? Print from media, right there. Okay, and then we'll select our Cube Chromebook test. Okay, and then we'll select, uh, select print that's pretty much all there is to it. Now, of course, you need to, you know, have your 3D printer all set up, um, and you need to make sure that the the bed is leveled. If you don't have an auto bed leveling system, etc., etc., we got our filament right here, and it is um, it's already loaded in the extruder in the hot end. So all we need to do is just wait for everything to heat up, and then the printer will get started. So that's all there is to it. Good job. And away it goes. And there you go. There's the finished print. Uh, it's the cube, and it looks just like uh, the one that was in the slicer. Pretty cool. You see it, has, it printed this little base uh, here so that it would stick. So you can just tear that part off. Um, and then you got yourself a little cube. And, uh, oh, whoa. Well. All right, congratulations. You just uh, printed something using a, a Chromebook. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'll have links to this test cube as well as the uh, online, the, the website place uh, so to make it easier for you guys. See ya. We get bars in our